dear students today we shall take few more examples in the chapter on straight lines let's take first example find the equations to the line through 1 to 3 and parallel to the line x minus y plus 2z minus 5 is equal to 0 comma 3x plus y plus z minus 6 is equal to 0 So suppose that LM and R the direction cosines of the given line. Now this line will lie on both of these planes. So therefore normal to these, these planes will be perpendicular to the line. Now direction ratios of the normal to the first plane are 1, minus 1 and 2. So therefore L into 1 plus M into minus 1 plus N into 2 is equal to 0. That is we have this equation L minus M plus 2N is equal to 0. Similarly the line will also lie on this plane. So therefore line will be perpendicular to the normal of this plane. Now direction ratio the normal to this plane are 3, 1, 1. So therefore we have 3L plus M plus N is equal to 0. Now making use of the method of cross multiplication we have L upon minus 1 minus 2 is equal to M upon 6 minus 1 is equal to N upon 1 plus 3. That is L upon minus 3 is equal to M upon 5 is equal to N upon 4. So these are the direction ratios of this line, this given line. Now because the line which we want to find out is parallel to this line so therefore direction ratios of both the lines will be proportional or same. Now because the line passes through 1, 2, 3 so therefore equation of the required line are given by x minus 1 upon minus 3 is equal to y minus 2 upon 5 is equal to z minus 3 upon 4. Second example, find in symmetrical form the equations of the line x is equal to ay plus b, z is equal to cy plus d. Now this plane can be written as x minus ay minus b is equal to 0. Similarly this plane can be written as cy minus z plus d is equal to 0. Now suppose that lm and r the direction question the line. So line will lie on both of these planes. So normal to these planes will be perpendicular to the line. Now direction ratios of the normal to this plane are 1 minus a and 0. So therefore we have L minus am plus 0 into n is equal to 0. Similarly direction ratios of the normal to this plane are 0, c and minus 1. So we have 0 into L plus c into m plus minus 1 into n is equal to 0. So therefore by cross multiplication we have L upon A is equal to M upon 1 is equal to N upon C. Now to find out a point on the line we put Y is equal to 0. So when Y is 0 then we get X is equal to B and Z is equal to D. So therefore the line meets the plane Y is equal to 0 in the point B comma 0 comma D. And direction ratios of the line are a1 and c. So therefore the equation of the given line in symmetrical form are x minus b upon a is equal to y minus 0 upon 1 is equal to z minus d upon c. Alternatively you can directly convert this in the symmetrical form by equating the value of y from these two equations. From here we get y a y is equal to x minus b. So y is equal to x minus b upon a. Similarly from here y is given by z minus d upon c. So equating the value of y we will get this equation x minus b upon a is equal to y is equal to z minus d upon c. Third example. Prove that the lines x is equal to ay plus b comma z is equal to c y plus d and x is equal to a dash y plus b dash z is equal to c dash y plus d dash are perpendicular if a a dash plus c c dash plus 1 is equal to 0. Now as we have done in the above problem 
this line in the symmetrical form can be written as this so therefore direction ratio of the line are a1 and c similarly you can find out direction ratios of this line so direction ratio of the second line are a dash 1 and c dash so therefore two lines are perpendicular if a a dash plus 1 into 1 plus c into c dash is equal to 0 that is a a dash plus c c dash plus 1 is equal to 0 let's take one more example for converting unsymmetrical form into symmetrical form so fourth example find the symmetric form of the line 3x plus 2y plus z is equal to 5 x plus y minus 2z is equal to 3 so suppose that element are the direction cosines of the line then as discussed earlier line will lie on the both planes so we have 3l plus 2m plus n is equal to 0 and similarly from this equation l plus m minus 2n is equal to 0 so therefore we get l upon minus 4 minus 1 that is l upon minus 5 is equal to m upon 1 minus minus 6 that is m upon 7 is equal to n upon 3 minus 2 that is n upon 1 so therefore direction ratios of the line are minus 5 7 and 1 and now to find out a point on the line we put z is equal to 0 so when z is 0 then we get 3x plus 2y is equal to 5 and x plus y is equal to 3 now solving these equations simultaneously we get x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 4 so therefore the required line meets the given plane z is equal to 0 in minus 1 4 comma 0 so therefore equation the required line are x plus 1 upon minus 5 is equal to y minus 4 upon 7 is equal to z upon 1 so next formula is to find an angle between a straight line and a plane so the angle between a straight line and its projection on a plane is called the angle between the straight line and the plane so evidently the angle between the straight line and plane is the complement of the angle between the straight line and the normal to that plane okay let's come to the formula suppose the equation of the line is x minus alpha upon l is equal to y minus beta upon m is equal to z minus gamma upon n here element uh, need not necessarily be direction cosines these can be direction ratios also because otherwise in the formula we get under root of l square plus m square plus n square which is always 1 so these are direction ratios and suppose the equation of the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus t is equal to 0 then angle between this line and this plane is given by sine theta is equal to al plus bm plus cn upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square into under root of l square plus m square plus n square let's take few examples a corollary of this formula is line 1 is parallel to the plane 2 if al plus bm plus cn is equal to 0 because in that case theta will be 0 so sine theta is 0 so therefore al plus bm plus cn is equal to 0 and this line number 1 is perpendicular to this plane when a upon l is equal to b upon m is equal to c upon n because when line is perpendicular to the plane in that case normal of the plane is parallel to the line and we know that if two lines are parallel if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 so therefore line is perpendicular to the plane if a upon l is equal to b upon m is equal to c upon n let's take this example find the angle between the plane 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 6 and the line x minus 1 upon 2 is equal to y minus 2 upon 5 is equal to z plus 4 upon 4 now I apply the above formula so sine theta is 2x minus 3y plus 6 that is equal to 6 so if you compare with this plane then ABC are 2 minus 3 and 6 and LMNR 
2, 5 and 4. So apply the formula sin theta is equal to 2 into 2 plus minus 3 into 5 plus 6 into 4 upon under root of squares plus add 4 plus 9 plus 36 into under root of 4 plus 25 plus 16 that is 13 upon 21 root 5. So therefore theta is given by sine inverse of 13 upon 21 root 5. Second example. Find the angle between the line given by y plus z minus 4, 5 is equal to 0 is equal to x plus y plus z and the plane x minus y plus 7 is equal to 0. Now these two planes can be written as 0 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z minus 5 is equal to 0 and 1 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z is equal to 0. So suppose that element be the direction cosines of this line. So as discussed earlier we get 0 into L plus 1 into M plus 1 into N is 0 and from the second equation 1 into L plus 1 into M plus 1 into N is equal to 0. So by cross multiplication we get L upon 0 is equal to M upon 1 is equal to N upon minus 1. So 0, 1, minus 1. These are the direction ratios of the given line. And direction ratio the normal to the plane are 1 minus 1 and 0. So therefore apply the formula. So we get sine theta is equal to 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into 1 plus 0 into minus 1 upon under root of 1 plus 1 plus 0 into under root of 0 plus 1 plus 1. That is minus half. So theta is minus 30 degrees or minus 150 degrees. Let's take last example. Find the angle between the line x minus 1 upon 0 is equal to y minus 2 upon 3 is equal to z minus 3 upon 4 and the plane x minus 2y plus 2z plus 4 is equal to 0. So here element are 0, 3 and 4 and abc are 1 minus 2 and 2. So just apply the formula sin theta is equal to 0 into 1 plus 3 into minus 2 plus 4 into 2 upon under root of 0 square plus 3 square plus 4 square into under root of 1 square plus minus 2 whole square plus 2 square that is 2 upon 5 into 3 so 2 upon 15 so therefore theta is equal to sine inverse of 2 upon 15. Thank you so much.